How slow is slow? An incredibly rare music moment happened on Saturday. A chord change in a piece of music which lasts for 639 years. It's the first chord change to the work titled As Slow As Possible in seven years. The work by the late avant-garde composer John Cage began 19 years ago. The change of chord took place on the specially built organ on which the composition is being performed. And there it was. That was quite rare. Well, I'm joined now by the pianist Stephen Drury. Stephen, what is it about this work and that chord change which has caught so many people's imagination? You know, I was I was listening to that and I could just I could hear John's voice going, Isn't that marvelous? Isn't that beautiful? I mean it's, there's it's it's something about having having this this vision of his fulfilled in an order of magnitude greater than i think he would have ever thought possible a lot of the world knows him as the composer of four minutes 33 seconds which in case people don't know is in effect silence how did he redefine what we understand of as music well i think uh, John Cage basically made us understand that music is the listening, it's not the making. And once you realize music is the listening, then you can listen to four minutes and 33 seconds of silence and hear the sound. It's never really silence. And also you realize you can use any sound to make music. You don't have to use the 12 tones of the the piano or instruments or anything, anything that makes sound is music. And looking at this piece which lasts for 639 years, from what you can tell, is it a good tune? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. It, any sound is, is beautiful. With The beauty comes from my attention being placed on that sound. Any two ears listening to the sound makes it beautiful. You knew John Cage, what was he like? He was, I mean, you know, I, I grew up with him as a kind of a legend. And then to meet him and to realize what a sweetheart he was and what a decent, kind human being and generous and a tremendous sense of humor. And then he'd start, he'd stop in the middle of a sentence and you'd go, what, is something wrong? And then finally I realized, no, he was just listening. He just stopped and listened. He was, he was a great guy. And this, his work, will end in the year 2640. I don't even know how to say it, it's so, so <laughs> far in the future. Uh, you and I will not see it, but just for the sake of it, for the fun of it, can you picture the scene in the church in the year 2640 when that work comes to an end? Oh, it's, it's, um, and it's a small room as, uh, as near as I can tell. I mean, you know, I hope to live long enough to go here a little bit myself, but at that moment when the organ quits creating the sound and everybody is still listening, to the sound of John Cage, in spite of there being no music coming out of the organ. That's, that's a reason to get good exercise and right. stay healthy. Let's see how long we last. Stephen Drury, thank you so much. My pleasure.